hi guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel i'm natalie and today we are going to do another book shopping vlog i'm so excited i'm going to barnes and noble with my sister and my mom today i haven't been book shopping in a while so i'm excited to go look around and pick some books out that i've been wanting so we're gonna go browse see what we can find and i'm gonna take you guys along so let's go ahead to barnes and noble back from Barnes & Noble with my tote filled with books so I wanted to show you guys what I ended up getting so first up we have Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid I have been recommended this one a bunch of times because I read Malibu Rising by her and I really really enjoyed it so I asked you guys if there were any other books by her that you would recommend and you guys said this one so I had to pick this one up I'm very excited to read it I've heard some good things about it basically this one's about a girl named Daisy it's a girl coming of age in LA in the late 60s she's a singer and she ends up being really good and gets put with a band I believe and so it's a story about how that ends up going so i'm excited to read this one next up i'm so excited about this one it's called boyfriend material let me know if you guys have ever read this or heard anything about it i personally haven't but i'm pretty sure it was in like the book talk section so it's got to be like on book talk somewhere but if you don't know the book red white and royal blue is one of my all-time favorite books it's like one of the only ones i've rated five stars and this seems like a similar vibe so i'm very excited to read it there's also a sequel that I saw called husband material so if I like this one I'm definitely gonna pick that one up as well so basically it's about two guys named Luke and Oliver and one of them needs to find a fake relationship to clean up his image in the press I'm pretty sure so it's about that and I'm pretty sure they end up falling in love this is my kind of book I'm very excited to read it and I hope that it lives up to red white and royal blue because I'm definitely gonna be thinking about that the whole time I read this one so we'll see how that goes but this is the next one I got. Next, I picked up The Flat Share. Again, I'm sure you've seen this one. I've heard so much about it. It's about these two people that end up being roommates, and they have completely different schedules, I think, so they don't ever run into each other. Okay, it says one takes the apartment during the day, and the other has it on nights and weekends. They never, like, have to meet, but they start writing each other notes, and I think they end up falling in love. So, 
that's what this one's about it has the cutest cover if you've never seen it but i'm sure you have so i'm excited to add this one to my collection next i got the invisible girl by lisa jewel i'm very excited about this one basically about a girl that spends three years under the care of a child psychologist and he ends up letting her go so she feels super abandoned and starts following him in his every move to find out more about his life and then the girl sapphire ends up disappearing so it's kind of all about finding out who did that so i thought this one seemed super interesting and i love a good thriller so i'm very excited next is a book called a hundred other girls this was right up front when i walked into barnes and noble so i was very intrigued Again, the cover is absolutely beautiful. I'm obsessed with the colors in it. This is about an aspiring writer and amateur blogger that lives in, in New York, which I love a New York setting. So that's what intrigued me the most. So she ends up landing a job with Vinyl vinyl Magazine, I believe, and she's under the editor-in-chief, but she's like a nightmare. With her dream job on the line, she'll need to either choose a side or form her own. So this will be very interesting. I love like anything to do with fashion and New York City. So I thought this would be a good book. Okay, we're down to our last two. This one is called Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Sager, Sager, I'm not completely sure, but this is the cover again. I love the pink, it's so cool. It says her dream apartment, her worst nightmare. After responding to a mysterious newspaper advertisement, Jules Larson gets a job as an apartment sitter at the Bartholomew, one of Manhattan's most famous and secretive buildings. At first, the extravagance of the Bartholomew feels like a lucky break for recently heartbroken and penniless Jules, who has been haunted by misfortune for most of her life. But when a fellow apartment sitter in the building goes missing, Jules begins to suspect there are dark forces at work. Digging deeper into the building's past, Jules soon realizes that the Bartholomew is more dangerous than she thought and that escape may be impossible. So this again is a thriller, so we love a thriller. <laughs> I can't wait to read this. It sounds super interesting and I am so excited to read all the thrillers going into the fall time. So I had to pick this one up. And last but not least, I picked up The House Across the Lake. I think this is literally the only hardback book I've ever picked up, but I've seen so many people read it. I know Sarah Caroli she has been reading this one recently so i wanted to pick it up this one is about a widowed actress trying to escape a streak of bad press and she retreats to a quiet lake house in vermont so she ends up spying on her neighbors and they are at first a glamorous couple living in the house across the lake but one day casey saves Catherine from drowning and the two strike up a budding friendship but the more they get to know each other and the longer Casey watches the more it becomes clear that Catherine and Tom's marriage isn't as perfect as it appears. When Catherine suddenly vanishes Casey immediately suspects Tom of foul play. What she doesn't realize is that there's more to the story than meets the eye and that shocking secrets can lurk between the most placid of surfaces. So this one sounds again very intriguing it's a thriller and i'm just ready to read all the thrillers coming into the fall time so this is the last one i picked up today for my little book haul but that was everything for today i hope you guys enjoyed this little book shopping vlog with me let me know if these are videos you like and if you want to see more of them because i think it'd be fun to do one like every month so i can just get new books and i absolutely love filming these for you guys so let me know also let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them but don't go too much in detail because i want to read them for myself and see what I think but I love you guys so so much thank you again for watching another video and I'll see you guys in my next one